Hey what's up guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing the SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL keyboard with the red linear switches. And this is actually my first ever mechanical keyboard. This keyboard is compatible with PC, Mac, Xbox One, and PS4. This is what the keyboard looks like right out of the box. You get the keyboard, the wrist rest, and the instructions manual. The wrist rest is actually magnetic, so to put it back on, all you got to do is just here, and that's on. This keyboard is also comes with its own software, the SteelSeries engine, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Once you open up the SteelSeries engine software, you have Apex 7 TKL at the top once you plug in your keyboard. So you're going to press that, and now, here it is. So you have all your configurations from 1 to 5 right here. Right now, you're on, or you should be, on key bindings. And I don't think you should change any of this, this is perfect the way it is. You don't need to change meta bindings. Now illumination, so this is what the keyboard looks like right now. Now you, can, you have all of these, base, this is a base effect one, so there's many effects right here. So let's say gradient, it's on that. Now we're gonna press save, let's take a moment. Now look. Yep. There's also reactive layer, so when you press a key, an effect will happen. So let's say to a line. Once you do that, you always need to press save. We'll look here. See that white line? That's the ripple effect. The line effect, my bad. And this one, the AFK effect, or I don't, I don't use it. You don't, need it. you don't need to use it. And this is a lock key color for your caps lock, scroll lock. I just keep mine as white, so it's like right here. That's like caps lock. But yeah. And this is your OLED and settings. So this little screen right here, is it right here. You can customize it to anything you want. So all you need to do is just press edit. Now you're here, you can upload a f upload a picture from a file, upload a video, a GIF, anything. Now I'm gonna show you guys a sound test. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this keyboard. The pros I would say are, it's really good quality, it's aluminum on the top, hard plastic on the bottom. The software is really good, and this keyboard is compatible with almost everything, which is really good, because I have a Mac, and sometimes I like to switch for my Mac and PC, so it's just, this is really good. And I'd say the only con of this keyboard is that the cable, the keyboard cable is non-detachable. I wish it was detachable, but in this case it's not. Now, should you buy this keyboard? I would not recommend this keyboard to anyone who's on a cheaper budget because this keyboard costs $169 Canadian and that could be pricey for some people. I would I would recommend this keyboard to people who are willing to spend the money because this is just an all around great keyboard to have. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe.